Jane, it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and it is Sunday, so it's Sketch Sunday, and I'll get to that, but it is also still a scrap timber, and the prompt today is something you've hoarded. Now, you can see there that um, I got a few branding strips, and I do hoard them. I, I, I just do, and I think they look kind of cool in the jar. I probably don't reach for them as much as I should, uh, but uh, I hoard them. So that is the first part of my hoarding. The second part of my hoarding is this bag. And you're probably thinking, why are you hoarding a gift bag? So I... I actually keep all of my gift bags. Um, I tend to reuse them, uh, but this one I couldn't, I couldn't reuse and I love it. And the saying on it is perfect, but it was from my friend Dina and she passed away several years. I want to say it's been 10 years now um, since she passed away. It's, it's probably been about 10 years. Um, and she gave me the bag. And I felt like if I'm going to hoard this bag, I need to give it a place in my scrapbook that I can look at it. And I can say a few words about her as well in some journaling. So uh, that is the story with the bag. And that is why I am scrapbooking this bag. I did feel like I didn't need the bulk of the entire bag. So I did go ahead and just cut off the front. Uh, the front and the back were, were exactly the same. So it didn't, it didn't matter. But I did leave the, the like bag string on it. And I made sure you could see uh, where she wrote uh, to and from on on the bag and she actually writes to and love not to and from so uh, the sketch is actually a sketch I chose but this was not my intention for this sketch it just happened to uh, turn out that way so the sketch is from Felicity Jean and I did pull it off of Pinterest and I loved the idea in the sketch of having like mixed media strips in with paper strips. Well, I will probably have to do the sketch again because that is not where I went with this. So I am using oh so many of these branding strips, which makes me feel really good. And I thought that it went really well with the stripes in the bag. And that was kind of where I wanted the colors to come from. I I mean it has all of the colors, but I think there's no yellow in the bag. And so I chose not to do any yellow. There uh is a little piece that's like a multicolor that has a little bit of yellow up there at the top, but it's pretty much covered. So what I did was I put all of them on and I staggered them only on the right. So, and I, I pretty much glued them only to the right as well. <laughs> so that way I could kind of decide how it was going to go. So now that they're all on, uh, they're all overflowing on the other side of the page. So what I needed to do was to take my scissors and trim off this side. And I did it so that it would match on either side. So if it was over the one before, I make sure it's over on the other side as well. That type of thing. So here is where I am going to attempt to glue down all of these strips on the right hand side of my paper. So I know that a ton of this is going to get covered up with my photo per se, <laughs> 
my bag here. Uh, but they're just branding strips and leftover strips of paper. So it's fine. It's totally fine. So I am going to dig into some of my chipboard. So chipboard is another thing that I hoard. And I love chipboard, but I have put it in a drawer where I don't remember to look for it. And I love the dimension and I kind of think that chipboard could go on every page. And so in my room overhaul, I am going to pull it out of that drawer and I am going to put it in one of my Calyx cubes so that I can flip through it. So hopefully I will reach for it. So you can see I have several things pulled out here. I pulled out the chipboard from All Heart from Crate Paper, as well as this Simple Stories collection. I also have a tag and that is one that I embossed on uh, a Disney layout for Scrap and Ink Crafts and it was kind of an extra. <laughs> so uh, that is going to be for my journaling. In my little scrap bin here I also had that bow so I'm going to cover that bow with or that tag hole with a bow instead of the twine that I would normally use. And then I am gonna scatter a couple of butterfly chipboard around here as well as some florals. I have a cute little frame and inside the frame, even though I know that was just for packaging purposes, but uh, there was a saying that says, here comes the fun because she was a blast. Like she was so fun to be around. Uh, we went to a mops convention, which is moms of preschoolers together in Florida and had an absolute great time and she can just make you laugh. So my title is actually going to be laughter that you see down there at the bottom. I do have just a few close ups for you. Uh, it is a very simple page, but it is very meaningful. And so I do need to journal on that. So that's going to do it. Make sure you check out everybody for the sketch Sunday, as well as the playlist for Scrap Timber. Remember to wear your crown, and I'll see you next time. Bye.